Hey everyone, I hope you all are having a wonderful time. Today, I would like to share my experience of using this SMSL DL300. Yes, you heard it right, SMSL DL300, which recently released by SMSL Audio, and it is a trickle-down version of D400 EX. This one retail for $450 and featuring very same chip configuration and design based out of AKN chips. Digital signal remodulated over sample by AKM 4191EQ modulator chip and transfer it back out to analog conversion duty takeover by 4499EX for output stage. SMS a motto is never has to end. So they're going to be keep on coming out. That's their motto. I'm not joking, okay? They're going to keep on pushing out more products. So that is going to be great option for people like us. This DL300 is featuring 6.35 millimeter headphone output and 4.4 millimeter balanced headphone outputs. It can put out 1 watt at 32 ohm low, 2 watts at 16 ohm low. It's very good sounding headphone amplifier stage. But in this review, I will be focusing on digital to analog conversion using this uh, DL300 in my system. This DL300 has a very simple menu system, input selector that you can see here, all the inputs that you can use. I'm using USB outputs. You can change it to all line out or headphone out or balance and unbalance. So you can choose full output option and you can do PCM filter. You have these filters in there. I'm only using the first one, sharp roll off. So next one is DSD filter. You can change it to wide from narrow or whichever one you prefer. Headphone gain, I'm only using low gain. And then you can do sound color. So this one has a four different sound color. I'm using number three. When I was using pre-mode, I tried with top in PE7 Plus and it sounded very, very good. You can use these newer DACs as a pre-DAC. It should not be any problem. And FN key, that's the function key that you can choose from remote control to whichever function you prefer. It has I square S uh, mode option, normal or reverse. You can do I square S DSD channel option. Can change it there audio face that is you can change balance audio interface so you can change it to one ground two core three hot or one ground two hot three core i'm using inverted function because i was listening to some of the japanese recording most of the japanese recording were inverted and this is a dimmer you can do display on and off and brightness and factory resets this is the little logo that showing that I'm using in reverse. Started off with the Kef R3 Mater and then a Musician Night One and this JBL 100 Classic 75th and this Pioneer Ted S1EX. Sound quality is like most of the uh, transparent sounding deck, but there is more to it like overall refinement and richness and like uh, accuracy, human voices, and everything combined. This one is something like you are there kind of sound quality, plus it has nice and rich sound quality without brightness to it. So if the recording is bright, it can show the brightness in the music. If you have good sounding recording or average recording even when i try a bunch of modern music like dua lipa or you know a lot of uh, ed sharon or everything it sounded just right i mean it just enjoyable sound quality and sound signature it has a few different uh, digital filters that you can choose from but i only choose filter number one on this deck and I choose sound color, I think number three option, which gives me a little bit more 
more lively feeling to it within my system. That's what you will hear in sound sample with this JBL100 Classic 75th and my reference Arcuface E4000 amplifier pairing with music server, this Sony HAP Z1E as playing that combination. Rich and deep sound stage, voices and vocals and mid range and everything is so natural. Music just flows. I mean, it just enjoys our experience. Speakers such as the JBL100 Classic 75th is totally revealing a uh, hi-fi speaker or based out of studio monitors and it can reproduce sound very close to it. I mean, overall, the bass quality, the deep and rich bass quality with nice overtone and after effect that bass stream vibrated tones are very engaging to listen. Micro detail and small notes are properly reproduced in engaging manner, but not overdoing anything, not getting on your face kind of sound in overall sound reproduction. Overall, the tone balance is very good and rich sound quality with deep, rich bass notes with very accurate mids and vocals. Highs are as good as it can be, but it's also depending on what you pair with. So when I'm listening to this JBL 175th combination, it has nice, dynamic, vivid, rich sound quality without getting bright. And when I switch over to this S1EX, it can give me a little bit deeper and richer sound, yet a little bit more engaging, less forward sound, still producing good dynamics and small details and nuances that you can hear. So that's the difference between these two speakers pairing in my system. After all, this is SMS a product. The motto is never has to end, so they're gonna be keep coming out with new products. And some people are confused about it. So they make their own products, plus they have distributor exclusive products, especially like DO and AO series are exclusive to Aoshida Audio, SU series are exclusive to Shenzhen Audio, EX is their own, and DL and AL series are their budget offering, usually exclusive to Hi-Fi Express, so they have that kind of different offerings. It can be a little bit confusing, but if you know what you are after, you can have pretty good sounding DAC in reasonable price. DL300 is for those of you who wants to enjoy the music, sit back and relax and listen to their favorite music and don't think about anything, just enjoy your music. So that's what I do and if you are like me, this is the product that I can highly recommend you to audition it in your system because it has great sound quality. Out of curiosity, I tried it back to back listening to my turntable, playing same music back and forth and changing digital playback and analog playback. So when I did that, the sound is pretty close, actually very close, exception of uh, a little bit of micro detail, uh, slightly better on this uh, digital front end. My turntable is not ultra high end turntable setup. It's a vintage uh, Denon DP47F with Denon DL301 Mark II MC cartridge. So that setup is which I dearly love, truly enjoy listening to it. But when I compare it back to back, this DL300 has slightly better uh, separation in notes and like slightly uh, articulate bass quality. That's how you're gonna hear if you listen to ultra high-end analog playback. So mine is not high-end, so it's just a mid-range setup. So if you listen to it, then you will appreciate it. This DL300 can give me 
absolute pleasure of listening to my music. Doesn't matter what music I listen to. The signal to noise ratio is incredibly good and price to performance and sound quality that you are getting is this is the, another great sounding deck by SMS Audio. Highly recommended my friend. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening. Next one is, it's called Kiss of Life. And let's hear some bass.
Noah Gray on the bass, Mr. Cody Boy Kensky Sanders. On the guitar, Oliver Yosef. Yeah. 